little bit about what drew you to your specific roles. Well, I think 25% of me is 100% of Neil. I think we both can overthink things sometimes. I think we both can lose perspective when it comes to ourselves and are very good at giving advice to other people. And what I like the best about Neil is that he's friends with these three guys. I feel like the biggest compliment you can give each one of them is to look at who they're friends with and say, well, if these guys are tight mm -hmm. and these guys have a back end and these guys enjoy spending time with each other, then there must be more sides to them than I can see. And what I particularly like about this show is that they don't waste a lot of time explaining to you why they're friends and where they came from and what they're doing. It just hits the ground running mm -hmm. and goes and doesn't spoon feed that to the audience like they don't understand. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like uh, my character's Tyler, and I like how he's just a guy who says it how it is, which I really like, um, and I can identify with that for sure as well. And um, I like uh, a few of our jokes are sort of like tete-a-tete -tete kind of jokes, like me and James sort of uh, have this vibe where like we're either one-upping each other or in the pilot I'm sort of busting him for misbehaving and stuff like that, and I'm definitely that guy in my friendships is the guy who's like, dude, you just can't do that. You can't pull that off. Or that's a really bad idea, or she's not going to like that, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, when Danny was in here, he was kind of saying that you guys really are a lot like your characters, especially Adam. Really? So, do you that's agree, do you agree with that? That's or, it. yeah, I mean, is that's that, great. is that kind it's of... It's not fair that we go after him, first of all. <laughs> I don't think yeah. he did with every room, if that helps. Just here. Okay. Okay. But do you, really do you agree right. that you, you see a lot of... I mean, I know you've only shot the pilot, well, but... Well, no, we're both Jewish. So, so there's, there's that. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, he was also saying this was the male sex in the city. Mm -hmm. And we're hearing that everyone wants to be Charlotte, but who would you guys be? Who's <laughs> Charlotte? I don't know. This, the, we the, got to break this down. I know. We make this happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. So who, what actor played Charlotte? Kristen Davis. Kristen Davis. Kristen Davis. That's, that's you. That's Neil, mm -hmm. right? That's me. Did anybody here see the pilot? Yeah. Okay, cool. So she's that's kind of a prude? Right. Yeah. 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 Sorry. That's you. She was the one okay. that had the least sex so in the So Neil scene. is Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte, who's also... Kristen Davis. Kristen Davis. I totally get that. And she's a little okay. prude and she wants right. to branch out. And Dan, married and Danny is Sarah Jessica Parker. Definitely Carrie. Carrie. Or whoever Sarah. And is. then <laughs> James is Jane. Jim Cattrall. That's right. That's which is Miranda. Miranda. And so I'm Samantha. a redhead. Cynthia so you're Nixon. Miranda. And you're Cynthia Nixon. Yeah. So you're a hard worker? You're... Yeah, that's true. What else? What are the other parts of her personality? Um, she lives in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> we go. can talk later about what personality means. <laughs> I feel like we can also do this with the hangover, too. Maybe not as successfully, but we could probably pick who in the wolf pack. You're know. Kim... J I'm Kim Cattrall from Mannequin. <laughs> No, I'm Hollywood from Mannequin. I would think people would want to be Miranda, not Miranda, um... Mr. Big? <laughs> I mean, I'm you're, I'm you're good at this! Or I'm whoever, I mean, that I People would want to be Kim Cattrall because her character is more interesting and she gets to have sex with a lot of people. That's you definitely James. Offer, uh, That's definitely James. Mm -hmm. James definitely has sex with a lot of people. I hope to, but who knows? Um... You're not going to. I'm still coasting for my promise. Danny, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, we can do which of the Beatles we are, too. Here's the <laughs> thing. Danny says, Masterson says that, and then we come in afterward, and I have a panic attack because I've never seen a frame of the show. So I have to go back and watch it now. I know I won't, but I'm just saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Danny also said that you were doing P90X and working out, and they were, they were, like, getting ready to, like, Take your shirt no. off for the show? Mm -hmm. No. None of that. Is, is that is that not true? No, 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 no that's true. He likes to like light us up and then. He's definitely doing whatever that thing is you just said. <laughs> definitely my super into my, it. My mother-in-law calls it. Um, she's like H three fifty two hundred. What are you doing? You right. know, stuff like that. I thought it was a PlayStation for the first twenty times I heard. Dude, it. I'll take that. I mean, I'm I work out. I I I play sports and I work out and right now I'm doing that. But uh. I read about working out. It's not in anticipation for uh, anything on the show because we don't have any idea what's going to happen on the show. Is it true you have a margarita slushy machine? So that's, that's not true. That's not true either. That's not true. I believe that that sounded real. Well, maybe you just don't know about it. Maybe you just don't know about it. They didn't give you the key. I've actually never had a margarita. So. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Well, How'd that happen? You know. We're going to have to add it to your bucket list. Yeah. You lose a bit. My bucket list. Oh, man. Only this.
this table will drop a bucket list on me. You know what I mean? You all just like oh, watch Sex correct. in the City. Watch Sex in the City. My whole thing is available in one DVD set now. <laughs> I've never seen Sex in the. I mean, I, I know who they are, but I've never seen it. That's the thing. I know the actors. Yeah. 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 Um, a lot of great New York actors on that. It's true. James Urbaniak did a great episode of that, where he was the shoe fetish guy. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Anybody? That's the Scenary one I saw. Who's <laughs> okay, great in that? I love Magnolia Bakery. That's my closest sort of connection to that show. Okay. I was a little upset when it was on the show, though, because I was going there before it had been on the show, and it changed overnight. Like, the line is twice as long, and that, so that I, that's sort of my gripe with Sex and the City. Okay. Well, yep. Since we were talking about geek stuff, um, and guys very often do bond over geek things, video games, are there, are there certain things you want to bring into the show? Uh, yeah. I think we're all, Danny and I at least are hungry to bring some music in. We're very interested to see where they can go in terms of bands they like and maybe even making music or placing music and all that kind of stuff. Really interested in that. And we geek out on that a lot. Yeah, you guys do, yeah. for sure. It's obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't quite have the class of comparing pecs, but it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> James, and I, James and I just, we take off all of our clothes, and we just face each other, and we just, <laughs> and we just grunt for like a half an hour, and then we sort of like bump chests, uh -huh. and then we see how many push-ups we can do. Meanwhile, I'm ironing their clothes. <laughs> I get it back to them. <laughs> no, you guys are like, no, but this one live track from this one, it was 99 yeah. when he did, the, he did yeah. it live, and it was a 17-minute jam. Uh -huh. <laughs>